What is up, YouTube family? It has been so long since I posted a video, but check this out, man. First things first, we are finally in the new house, as you guys can see behind me. Secondly, we now have a reptile room, which I'll be doing two videos, one on the house and then another on the actual reptile room, showing you guys all that stuff. But in this video right here, we're going to be feeding some of my snakes. I got about maybe nine to ten snakes that we have to feed, so we're going to kind of be going through that, and then we'll just see how that goes. Hopefully, we're super successful and everybody eats. Now, this is the first time all my snakes are going to be eaten since we moved into the new house so i'm hoping that everybody just you know goes with the flow and it goes smooth but with that being said i'm gonna show you guys the reptile room just a little bit just real quick real brief go over everything show you where all the animals are and which animals is in which cage and then we'll get straight to the feeding so let's go sheesh all right y'all so welcome to the reptilian kingdom this is like the basics of the room there's still some things i want to do Right over here, we got two female ball pythons. Then we have my Dumeril's boa in that cage right there. My scorpions in here. We have my hog nose snake in here, which is Cheeto. I need to close that window. We have my, there goes my dream sickle, Chanel. And then we also have a, another, her sister right there, Coco. Uh, I have nothing in here, but this is set up for a tarantula. Then we have Princess Peaches, my albino. Western Diamondback. We have a leopard gecko up in there. We have a pixie frog named Dojo here. And then we come over to these lovely triple stack cages. We have my yellow anaconda Karma, who is in her water. Big chilling. We have a Guyana true red tail. You can see his little face right there, all set up. Trying to give you guys a little bit overview of the cages. That's his cage. And then we have another female boa in there. We have my black dragon in there, who I need to change his water. We have Rocky, my berm. We have Gigi, my retic. I just got this snake from a friend. He basically gave her to me. He couldn't really take care of her no more the way he wanted to, so he gave her to me, and I happily took her in. Then we have my emerald tree boy, Jade, the pretty princess, the green queen. We come right over here. I am going to add that cocoa into those two cages. They need a little bit more. Then we got my Panther Chameleon Mars, the infamous star who always wants attention and love. And as soon as he sees me, he's like, come and get me. Then we got my cow retic downstairs. Her name is Ivory. But again, this is just the basics of the room. Oh, and banana pudding. I'm sorry. <laughs> Couldn't forget about banana. Now, I'm going to be adding a neon sign there. Some type of LEDs. I don't think I'm going to go any higher with the cages, but it is a possibility. Um, and then we're going to be adding... A rack on this side to add some more stuff so I also added this little turf just to add a little bit more of that greenery I might be adding some more plants like a plant back there a plot those to kind of do what they do all over the building I mean all over the building all over the room but you guys get the idea man so I'm super excited we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ivory downstairs 11 snakes to feed let's get to it now because they are already and this girl is just patiently waiting like uh dad um hello okay baby girl let's get to it all right but before i start to feed please full disclaimer okay some of my snakes eat frozen some eat live and then some eat pre-killed so don't be surprised if you see a rat or a mouse kicking a little bit, okay? These are reptiles. They have preferences just like humans. Some people are vegetarian. Some people like meat. Some people only like vegetables. Some people are pescatarian. Princess Peaches don't really like what I'm saying. She's like, you don't have to explain yourself. Yes, I do. But, okay, some snakes have preferences. Not every snake eats frozen thaw. All right? It's just the way it is. I didn't make it rules. I didn't make snakes like this. I just have some cool-ass pets. Let's get to the feeding. Ooh! Well, the first snake we're going to start with is Jade, my emerald tree ball. Now, this is a wild caught animal. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So we're going to go ahead and give her a rat pup. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. And she is doing super, super good. At first, she wasn't eating as solid. But as time went on and I just kept at it, kept giving her, um, you know, consistent meals. She slowly started picking it up, picking it up, picking it up. And now she is just hammering food left and right i'm super excited about her but that is jade again my emerald tree boy we're gonna go ahead and put these tongs here 
make sure this rat can't get her. It was very also important to supervise your animals or your reptiles when they're eating, especially if you're doing pre-killed or live or anything like that. Keep some feeding tongs or something, a hook or something that you can use just in case there's a situation like this. You can kind of keep the mouth of the rat away from the snake from causing any harm. It doesn't take that long. I know it is sad, but again, snakes eat live animals in the wild there's no such thing as frozen okay that is that doesn't exist in the wild and for some of these snakes they prefer live or pre-killed i like to daze the rats just so that my snakes don't have to worry about being bit or there's not like a super long you know rough like uh you know fight between my snake and, and the rodents or the rats or whatever the case may be so that's just me everybody does things differently if you like to feed your snakes frozen all kudos to you. I do what needs to be done. Um, as long as the animal is healthy, that's pretty much all that matters to me. But this is the reality, bro. This is the reality. I'm not going to get on here and just feed all the snakes that eat frozen thawed and act like I don't have any other snakes that eat live or pre-killed, whatever the case may be, um, just for people to be happy. At the end of the day, these animals are animals. They have predatory instincts. They have abilities. This snake has constriction for a reason because they grab live prey and they constrict it. Rattlesnakes and venomous snakes have venom for a reason. They attack or they bite an animal. The venom basically kills the animal. Then they go eat it. These are animals with built-in abilities to catch prey, not frozen thaw prey. I'm not saying that you have to feed live, but we're on to the next snake. Sheesh. All right, so now this is Coco, which is ready to see if we can get her to smash this. Here you go, baby girl. You want to eat? I know you're hungry. There we are. Bam, Coco. Successful. Now let's move on to her sister, Chanel, which she should be ready too. Here you go, baby girl. You ready? There we are. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next, it is time to feed Princess Peaches. All right. Now, for this closure, she is eating a live adult mouse. All right. It's going to be live. I'm going to go ahead and toss it in there, and we're going to see just how that venom works and how potent she is or how long it takes for her to basically take this mouse out. And then we'll also do like a time lapse of her eating. So let's get this on the go. So here we are. Princess Peaches is right there, and there's that rat. And here we go, bro. Here we go. Princess Peaches in. Uh-oh. And just like that. It is all over. Now, this venom is going to go ahead and attack this mouse's bloodstream and also her tissue because they are packed with a hemotoxic and neurotoxic. So they actually have two different types of venom. So it shouldn't take long. Then she's going to go ahead and swallow this rat hole or this mouse hole. Princess Peaches is a monster. Sheesh. Now, let's try our Doomrose Bowl. Then we'll go ahead and do Smiley. But I think this girl is in such an awkward position. It's going to be so hard to um, get this on camera for you guys. I'm going to try my best. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's see if I can get it for you guys. At least the speed. Come on. Oh, oh. That is that. There she goes. She's so fast. And she's... Um, you know, hidden underneath the the bedding because she's a Doomrose ground boy and they love to dig or borrow. That's just what they do. Notice the name Doomrose ground boy, but she was successful as well. I did almost forget about Smiley, but he's going to be right here. So as soon as I open this tub, I know his face is right here. So I'm going to teach you guys something very important. Always use your utensils. You can see he's right there. This is how accidental bites happen. Okay, see how close he is to the edge of that tub? So when we open this, we're going to use our utensils and then pop that open. Just to make sure we're safe, we're gonna grab his food and then we could go ahead and get this guy his meal. Here you go, buddy. Perfection. All right, and prevent any accidents. We'll go ahead and set him back in there, just like that. Bam to the wham. On the other hand, Jade is all done. Such a beautiful snake, man. I'm so proud of you, Jade. Look at that, bro. Oh my gosh, this was a dream snake of mine ever since I was a kid. 
And now to have the collection that I have, or even some of these snakes, it's just mind-blowing. I, oh, I don't even know what to say. It feels like... Ah, just speechless, bro. Just speechless. So now we're going to move on to some of the bigger snakes. This is Karma, my yellow anaconda. Let's see how fast she go ahead and takes... Oh, my goodness, bro. Lightning, lightning fast. I just absolutely love this snake. Let me see if I can open it from this side so we can get a better view of just how thick and strong she is. OMG. Now, if you guys don't know, anacondas are the strongest snake that there is, all right? And they are the heaviest body, which means they got a lot of muscle. Let's go to the next. Sheesh. So now we're going to move on to a smaller snake. We have Sandy right now, the pastel pie. There we go. Perfection. She took it like a chump. And we're going to give that a little tug. And we still got about three or four more snakes. We rocking and rolling, bruh. Since we on a roll, this is Mango. She's one of my prettiest snakes. Check that out. Let's see. She is definitely ready. Go ahead and get her attention. Here you go, pretty girl. It's going to be a little hard to catch her eating this, but let's see if we can get her. Come on. Here. Here you go. Here. You want to eat? I definitely got to be careful with this snake, bro, because she is pretty fast. And she likes to creep up on it. She likes to creep up on it and grab it. But there she goes. Again, we are doing pretty, pretty well. We're going to try this guy right here. Hopefully, I can get him to eat. I think he's going to be a little tricky, but let's see what happens. So, like I said, I think this guy might give me some trouble. We'll find out right now. He seems a little interested. So, bam, perfect. He is interested. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I was a little worried, but... My guy proved me wrong, bro. One more snake to go. Now, this is Irie. She's my cow retic. And you guys know retics are known for having a crazy food response. So I don't see why she's not going to take. Come on, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Now, she is a little crazy. Sometimes she just strikes at anything. So hopefully, you want it? See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, oh, my gosh. She got a leaf, bro. Hold on. We got to get. OMG, I've never had nothing like this happen. Okay, here, take the. All right, so I have to pay close attention to get this leaf out of her mouth. Is it still in there? I don't see it. Okay, it is still there. Now, good thing is it won't harm her. But let me see if I can get it, bro. This is some crazy stuff. I might have to wait till she lets it go. Well, she's going to let this rat go, and then I'm going to try to get that leaf out. Even if she does eat it, at least it's an actual real plant. But we're going to try to get that out, bro. Let's see what happens. OMG. All right, you guys. So I was able to successfully remove that leaf from Ivory's mouth. Now, I am super Super happy with the outcome of all of the feedings, man. The snakes did very, very well. There's a lot more content coming. Now that I'm all moved in and settled into the new house and all that other good stuff, I also have a display that you guys can kind of see right there. Um, that is going to be a building project. Nine new animals are growing in there. I'll be doing a video just on that and my plans for that so you guys can check that out. And I'll be taking you guys along the journey step by step, okay? Like, comment, subscribe, turn on your posts notifications and if you made it this far drop a snake in the comments i'm going to respond with a snake we're going to make some friends some new subscribers some new family members man team ivory out sheesh